Welcome to the first video in a new series called Understanding Python. The goal of this series is to not only teach you about selected subjects in Python, but to help you understand how things work. In this first video, I'll go over how to get started, recommend an editor, and go a bit beyond the typical Hello World examples you may have seen. So to start installing Python, if you're on a Linux machine, like I am, currently Fedora 31, then you likely already have Python installed. And you can check that with Python and the flag version. As you can see, I'm on Python 3.7.6. If you're on a Windows machine, then you can follow the installation instructions from Python's website, as you can see here. In this video, instead of just doing everything in a terminal or in the Python IDLE, I'm going to recommend that we use the editor VS Code. This is something that you can install from the VS Code website, or at least get the instructions on how to install it on your particular system. This isn't, of course, the only editor that you can use, but it's the one that I recommend and the one that works best for me in my day-to-day -day work. All right, so to get started, first, let's go ahead and change the view up a little bit. We'll go to View and Terminal. VS Code is nice because it shows you a nice integrated terminal so that way you can actually do things in the terminal while working in the editor at the same time that way you don't have to switch between different windows alright so to get started let's go ahead and click new file and this opens up a new file for us by default this won't have any syntax highlighting so what we can do is either click down on the bottom right where you see plain text, type in PY to choose Python, or we can save this file with the .py extension and that will activate the syntax highlighting. So we'll do that, file, save as. We're going to put this in understanding, Python, and then getting started. We'll call this simply hello.py and save it. Here we go. Alright, so the most basic example to get something up and running would be simply to just print hello world of course with an exclamation point. So print is the statement that you would use in Python to print text to the output, whatever that would be. In this case it'll be the standard output or just an additional line on your terminal. In here you can put a number of things that eventually will become strings. In this case we made a new string called hello world. We'll get more into strings and all about them in a later video so don't worry too much about the specific details of this string right now. So we can save that now if we move to the directory that we're in, understanding, Python, and this is getting started. We can see we have hello.py. So we'll simply run this by typing Python and then hello.py. And as you see, the output, hello world, easy enough. Of course, I could stop there, but we'll keep going, just to make this a little bit more interesting. Something you may see in some of the examples around the internet is this particular pattern. If dunder name equals dunder main, then do something. Uh, typically, people call a main function here. Or in our case, we could just simply move print down here. 
here we go now if we were to run this save it we get the same output so why would we do this well let's go ahead and show you some examples and in this example I can explain what this whole name thing is so let's create a new method or a new function with the def keyword that means define so we're going to define a new function or method called main sure it takes no arguments and all this is going to do is print out a few key values that we're interested in let's go ahead and do this name okay so name or dunder name it's called dunder because it has two underscores in front of it and behind it so if you hear someone referring to dunder something in python they mean something that looks like this so dunder name would be two underscores name two underscores so python gives you certain values upon startup and these are one of those values that it can access a few other common ones that you'll see in here and things you can do with later would be package actually give us our space here and do dunder package and we're also going to print out file gives us space dunder file perfect so now we have a main function in here so what do you think is going to happen if we were to run this well let's give it a shot go back up hello world that's interesting we didn't see any of this well that is because while we may have defined a function up here called main it's never called and that's why it's important later on if you have this particular line in here you can have it behave differently from when you're calling it as a script if you will or if you're importing it from another place so now that we called main down here this will run all the code that's in main so with it being saved let's run this again here we go now we have hello world we have name equals main package is none because this is not part of any defined package file is hello.py easy enough so when you see up here dunder name equals dunder main this means that this is the primary script or the primary file that is being run another way to illustrate that is if we were to go ahead and split off another file we'll just save this one as something else we'll call this helper because it's going to help us to illustrate this point save that and now what we can do is change this a little bit so we can make it a bit more obvious where this is being called so we're going to do hello from helper We'll keep all of this the same and what we can do up here is simply import helper since it's in the same directory we don't have to worry about relative imports or anything like that things that we'll cover in a later video simply import helper and then we can use it just like this helper dot main so we're referencing the main method under helper. Beautiful. So before we call hello again, let's go ahead and run helper. So we have hello from helper, name, main, package, none, file, helper.py. Now if we call hello, we're going to see something a bit different. Here we go. We have hello world. That's from line 10. Then we have name main from line 4. 
and it goes on with package, file, and then something interesting. Since we called helper.main, now it switches over to this method. So here we see name, helper, package, not defined, and file, the absolute file path to this location. Notice how this did not get called. That's because its name is not main. Now if we were to trick this up a little bit differently and make the name helper, let's see what happens. Save that. Call the same thing. And here we go. Hello from helper. Name, helper, package, etc. So what's going on? Well, the first line in this file is importing helper, which means it's going to run all code that's in this helper file. And in there, it checks if name equals helper, it's going to do this. So it's running all the helper stuff before it actually gets to anything in the hello file. So it goes down, continues on hello world, and then eventually the helper.main method is called, and that continues on. Well, that'll wrap up today's subject. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and subscribe to follow this series as it progresses. Thank you for watching.